Our universe is intrinsically weird. And for centuries, physicists have been working at observing and deciphering reality. We are at a point where our understanding surpasses our technologies, and equations developed by theorists such as Stephen Hawking are now at the forefront. Today, we'll be exploring holographic theory to try and make us think what makes up our universe. Whilst they're not quite the TARDIS, black holes can take in a lot of information. But here's the thing. If I took out this USB, which happened to have the video on it, and had this as my black hole, what would happen if we put it in there, I closed it, and then we leave it for a few billion years? Slowly, you'll see that it gets smaller and smaller until it pretty well dies. So, what happens to the matter and information that was inside? For starters, Hawking proposed his idea of black body radiation, where black holes slowly emits tiny pieces of energy, which had been converted from the matter by the E equals MC squared equation. The information, that's a whole new issue. Because when the information goes inside a black hole, where is it stored? What happens to it? This is where our holographic theory comes in. According to general relativity, black holes only have three properties that distinguish them from one another. Mass, charge, and angular momentum. However, in this theory, there is quite a different approach. On the edge of the event horizon, just before the objects leave for the point of no return, where nothing, not even light, can escape the black hole's grip, a trail of information is left behind of the item's structure. Then, as the black hole dies, the information is re-emitted into the universe. This is comparable to parts of the video on the USB ending up on my camera, phone, and computer. So out of all this, why do we say that the universe is a hologram? Well, we certainly don't mean it in the sense that this is considered a hologram. It's a mere projection, no real substance to it. A better way to think about it is to have the matter already there, and to have this surface as the puppeteer. At the end of the day, the name holographic principle is a misnomer. All it means is that there's information on the edge of our universe that describes who we are and may or may not control matter. To be honest, no one knows. So keep researching and understanding and one day we might find out.